Welcome to 5th grade math standards of learning. Before we get started today, I would like to thank my viewers and subscribers. Please continue to like the videos and share the videos. And also, if you're on this channel for the first time, please consider subscribing and also share the video with your friends and families and also like the video. So today we're focusing on multiplying decimals and we're also going to be touching on the distributive property of multiplication of decimals. Our first example, we're multiplying a whole number by a decimal, two times 0 0.14. So we're going to multiply 2 by 14, and then we will have two decimal places. So 2 times 14 is 28. Two times 14, 28. And we have two places of decimal. So therefore, 2, .2 times 0 0.14 is equal to 0 0.28. Next, we have a decimal times a decimal, 0 0.4 times 0 0.7. So we'll just multiply the, the numbers, 7 times 4, 28. Oh. 14 and 14, 28, so 4 is 28, okay. All right, 28. And then we're gonna count how many decimal places. We have one place here and one place here, so we end up with two decimal places. And this is such a coincidence. The numbers multiply to give this the same product. Okay, let's let's move on. Estimate the product. So we're going to multiply decimal by decimal and we estimate the product. So when we're doing, doing this, first we round each factor to the nearest whole number and then we multiply. So we have 2.28 times 5.36. So we're going to round each factor to the nearest whole number. So we have two as a whole number here. That's a rounded number. We look at the next digit, which is five or more. So we're gonna add, we're gonna round up. That means we add one to the rounded number. So one plus two is three. So 2.82 is rounded to three times Three times 5.36, 5 is a rounded number. We look at the next digit and we see it's less than 5. So we round down, that means we keep the rounded number. So this is 5. Now we multiply 3 times 5, 15. So 2.82 times 5.36 is estimated to be 15. Next, 2.47 and 0 0.5. 2.47, 2 is a whole number. And 4, this is less than 5. So we're going to keep the rounded number times... In this one, we have a zero in the whole number place. And this here, we have a five. So we add one to the rounded number. One plus zero is one. And now we multiply two times one, two. Next, we're gonna multiply, but this time we're going to use the distributive property. So we're gonna go slowly. So it is two times 
So this is equal to two, that is this two here, times, times, and we are going to distribute this into whole number and decimal. So we're going to put a parenthesis. So this will be five plus 0 0.2, or we could put 0 0.2, but uh, okay, let's put the 0.2 so that it matches. So it would be 0.2, okay? So two, that is this two right here, times five and the 0 0.2. Right now, so this two right here means we are going to multiply each, each number in the parentheses individually. So this will be, so we will have equals two, so put a parentheses for that one, two times five plus another parenthesis two times point two let's go over that so here we have two times five plus point two so we are going to treat each digit or each number separately so we're going to multiply each take the two multiply five and take the two multiply point two now we're going to simplify two times five ten plus two times point two remember here we multiply the numbers and then we fix the point. So it's two times two is four and it's one place of decimal. So it is point four. And we continue to simplify. 10 plus point four is equal to 10 point four. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.